I'm your host, Logan Monday 3, you're joining me for Chapter 7. In this chapter, he plays Aiden, a columnist for nowhere at the moment. You rush forward to Kathleen and the emergency response team crowding near the lakeshore. You have to shout in order to be heard over the whirling ba blades of the medical helicopter. I turn my back for one minute and look what happens. Aiden! Catherine runs up and wraps her arms around you. Threatening the lies of my dates now! <laughs> you pat her on the back, feeling a little awkward as you listen to her summary of events. All you did was scare some fish, Angel. Who knew he was a hothead with a heart problem? Down the road, you spot a white TV production truck approaching. Here comes the local news group, hungry for their scoop. Should we hang out and answer the questions? Absolutely not. I'm no lawyer, but nothing good can come from talking to reporters. How about we move on to the next state, Catherine? Both of you rush towards the rental car. You take the driver's seat. Let's make a fresh start in Utah. Don't torture yourself over Mark. You didn't know. Okay. You glance over at her, feeling a tightness in your chest at the sight of her misery. And I know, a, know of a good civil defense attorney if you ever need one. I've needed the lawyer more than once. She gives you a tiny smile, and you feel both better and worse. Moving on to the Old West. Utah! The next day, you park the rental car in the side lot of an old saloon, meeting point for Catherine's next date. I'm glad we're here early. I need to get ready for in the restroom. You should come in. That is, until Mr. Utah arrives. Uh, I have to make a call. You head in first. Sure. See you inside. As soon as Catherine is out of sight, you hide behind a tree and start dialing your best friend's number. Aiden, what? I don't know what's happening, Marco. It's like our problems are mine now, too. I can't stand to see her suffer. You hear your best friend sigh loudly. Ah, <sighs> these strange feelings. What we call empathy and compassion, my friend. At some point, you've picked up a rock. You fiddle with it as you speak. It's like she's not there just for sex, for entertainment, or to get a good story from Oh, she's not just the useful tool you thought. Oh, you've made a human connection. Congratulations. It's like, I care or something. Under all that callousness, you have a heart. It's like he's the Grinch. Your face twists into a sneer at the words. Ah, oh, it's disgusting. Your balls looking at your handiwork before you. Initials have been carved into the tree bark, Catherine's and yours. An unfinished heart curls its way through around the letters. Oh, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. You throw your rock at the tree in disgust, and I can't stand to see her with, go out with yet another guy. She's going to meet this studly cowboy. They're one of her fantasies. What if I lose her to him? You're pacing, tearing your fingers through your hair. I've completely lost control. How do I get back in control? Aiden, it's simple. Just tell her how you feel. Tell her the truth. Body freezes in place as you flash. Uh, inspiration hits you. I've got it. I, I can switch the dates. Switch them with losers. Why didn't I think of this before? Do you listen to anything I say, or are you watching cat videos on Facebook whenever we talk? Meow. <laughs> nice of Margo to hear me out. I should give him the truth. Meow. Ah, just what I thought. I'll slay those empathy and compassion dragons you speak of with booze. Find some way to spoil her date with boot-wearing wonder stud. Good talking with you, buddy. I've got work to do. Oh, Lord help us all. You hang up and walk into the saloon with a new spring in your step. Catherine is still in the restroom, getting pretty for her date. It won't matter how much she primps. I'm going to make sure her date is a total flop. Bam! You look up in time to see Catherine's sisters burst through the saloon doors. Why are they here? Yeehaw! Okay. <laughs> Alyssa saunders over and gives you a big kiss on the cheek. What are you both doing here? And why do you both look like you just got out of a cowgirl sorority party? We wanted to surprise Catherine. 
Unless I wanted to surprise Catherine. I'm sure she will be. We're here because we're positive Jason is one of the f one for Catherine. You pull out your recorder to continue documenting your story. And why do you think this date is the one? It makes my skin crawl just saying those words. He's very cute. He's fly the to Utah to meet how cute he is. He, he's probably wood chip wood chops wood shirtless. There we go. Sorry, my brain. They must be exaggerating. I should question their opinions about Catherine's date. This Kate, the date's Kinlan Prova. Eh, question. But qualifies him for a low-rated reality show on A and E Network. But I don't see how it makes him Prince Charming. We detect a little jealousy wrapped in that shade, though. It's part of my job as a professional reporter to challenge your opinions. One scotch, please. Bartender slides a scotch down the bar towards you. Well, after you down that drink on your afternoon of professional reporting, can you give us the scoop on the whereabouts of our darling sister? She's freshening up and look for the wonder date in the restroom. Catherine comes out of the restroom. Her eyes lighting up when she sees her younger sisters. What are you two doing here? They tackle her with hugs and kisses. They l then look her up and down. Wow, you really all went out for this guy. Yeah, way to sex it up, sis. You're finally playing our ball. She does look amazing. She falls for this guy. Alyssa notices you staring at Catherine. You look away quickly. Mmm, this is the real one. I can feel it. She says the one. Just one more goddamn time, I'm gonna gag. <laughs> and you all go still at the sound of a pickup truck pulling up over the dirt road outside. That must be him. You trail after the three excited women outside. Who in the f*** has a date and brings her two sisters along? The truck door opens and the two cowboy boots hit the dirt. The man's golden retrievers follow. He removes his hat while the three sisters swoon. You can't help but glare at him. Ladies. Howdy, partner. Em and Catherine, Kath, Catherine say their hellos and introductions. Their faces flushed red in Jason's presence. And who might you be? I might be... He's Aiden Henderson, the reporter documenting Catherine's dates. Uh, howdy, Aiden. He's offering me his hand a shake. I'll refuse to shake his hand. I'm here on official business. I'd like to maintain objectivity. So let's skip the handshake. Ah, you are one strange slice of cheese, Aiden. I'm really not interested in your impressions of me. And you're a touchy little fellow, aren't you? Marley, little Jason, I think I'm about the same height as you. What are you, 6'2"? Ah, oh, thereabouts. I was referring to the slight city build there. I mean, a chop wood shirtless under the great blue sky of Utah, but we have gyms in the city. No offense, but I think Aiden is a bit bigger in the chest area. Ah, uh, you should think about joining one then. Oh, ooh. Damn, so sweet asshole with the insults. I'm losing my mojo. We gotta get away from him. Melissa slinks closer to you and elbows you in the side. Her voice is a low mutter. Get a hold of yourself, Aiden. Don't cause a big scene. You resist growling and take out your recorder instead. So, Jason, just how do you plan to entertain the ladies today? Uh, well, I thought we'd take a ride on the horses. The sister swoon and giggle. That sounds amazing. We'll ride through the Ponderosa Pines, past a bustling stream, till we get to a pasture. I planted some sunflowers there early this year, and they're in full bloom. Oh my god, I love it. They leave you to go to the ride. After a moment, you get in your car and follow after them. You drive by a deadbeat smoking on the hood of a beat-up truck and pull over. Binoculars in hand, you walk up to him. Hey, dude. Where can I find a patch of woods in a bustling stream? The man takes a drag. Oh, what are you looking for? A little red riding hood? Yeah, I need to keep her away from the big bad wolf. <laughs> wow, that is some trippy wild shit, man. 
There's a stream over there that goes through some pines. Point over to the right, and you look through your binoculars. Ah, oh, there they are. Thanks. You watch them gallop through the woods. Can you believe it? You took them horseback riding. Actually, freaking horseback riding. Dude, your face is red. You look like you're gonna burst. He turns his head and spits. Let me guess, there's a girl on the other side of those binoculars. Oh, this guy's been helpful, but he's now distracting me. I'll answer him. Yep, my little red riding hood is batting her eyelashes at the wolf. Can you believe it? It's all so sickening. Oh, look how jealous you are, homie. Je jealous. That's totally ridiculous. Oh, oh, he's li he's lifting her off the horse. I can't watch. Hand your binoculars to the guy who looks. That's your girl? She's cute. What's happening? Uh, they're getting closer. He's taking a leaf out of her hair. Oh, y You know what? I, I know that guy. That's Jason Daniels. He is a bad wolf. You run your hand through your hair and start to pace. Oh, she's giving him a look. It's hot. The, the look. I taught her the look. God damn it, I taught her. Oh, man. I don't think you want to know what they're doing. I... I don't want to make a grown man cry. Grab the binoculars back, they're kissing. Oh, I can't believe they're actually kissing. With the binoculars down and apply your chapstick aggressively. <laughs> really, dude? Really? Your new friend starts to laugh like a maniac. <laughs> dude. Not being such a tool. You were so whipped. You need to see the wizard and ask for a pair of balls, man. I feel humiliated and defeated. I should find my balls. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. This isn't me. I do not sit on the sidelines and watch my world fall apart. I make things happen. This cowboy dude isn't some invincible superhero. He's got a weakness. So, what are you gonna do about it, homie? You give it some thought. The ranch. I have an idea. Can you help me find this guy's ranch? Match? I can tell you exactly where he lives. I'm Trevor, by the way. Introduce yourself and shake hands with Trevor. He grabs a shotgun from his truck. Let's roll. Um, are you sure you should bring a gun? I mean, aren't you a little... Nothing I can't shake. Hey, shake and bake. Shake and bake chicken. That'd be awesome right now. Oh, you are high, aren't you? What are we talking about? Oh, let's just go. Can we stop off and get some chips? Uh, yeah, sure. Climb into your rental car and drive out to the ranch. Trevor gets barbecue chips at the 7-Eleven along the way. He munches on the chips while you drive. So what's between you and Jason? Is he m muscling in on your girl? How should I handle this? Give it to him straight. Catherine and I don't really have anything going on. I'm documenting a story. Why the jealousy? I told you I'm not jealous. Man, you are tripping, dude. Like, for the record, I think Jason's an asshole. So whatever you got going on the side, I'm on your side, man. Uh, thanks. Good to know. How's he, uh, get on your shit list? You stole my woman. Oh. The bastard. I'll say. You took her away to the ranch, and I never saw her again. Wait, what? Seriously? He's bad news. I can't say anything for certain, but there's some weird shit going on at the ranch. Wait, what, do you mean like cultish stuff? Let's just say that it's like a, a roach motel, women go in, they don't go out. Should I believe him? Eh, why not? The guy's a local, he must know something. I've got to do something drastic. So what's your plan? I'm gonna release his cattle. I figure it'll trigger an alarm, force him back to the ranch. He'll be so preoccupied with that, it'll cancel the whole date, and we'll move on. With Trevor's help, you locate Jason's fence and cattle and park nearby. As you and Trevor walk toward the gate, you notice the shotgun over his shoulder. Really? You can't leave that in the car? You never know, man. The gate is unlocked, you open it, but the cattle refuse to budge. What's with you guys? You're free. Come on. You gonna be steak and hamburgers in a couple months? Trevor laughs. You gotta scare him, city boy. Alright, my intoxicated friend, what's your bright idea? He points to your car. That's a rental, right? Yeah. He points the shotgun at your car. Wait. What the f- 
did it! Trevor shoots the driver's side window. The gunshot, window crash, and the car alarm startle the cattle. They charge out of the gate. You both sprint to the car. You idiot! Quit complaining to work. You could have just set off the car alarm! You stumble and trip over the uneven dirt. You look down and discover you stepped in a mound of fire ants. Oh man, your mojo is fucking off, man. Ga Karma hates your ass. They crawl up your legs and start biting. The pain is excruciating. You get in the car and sit on broken glass as the ants sting you and Trevor all over. Gunshots ring through the air and pepper the dirt outside the car. Oh, what now? At your rearview mirror, you see three women dressed in prairie dresses shooting at your car with rifles. You pound the gas and drive faster than you've ever driven in your life. Ah! Ah! What? Should I be screaming to- Ah! <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is happening? With- <laughs> Like, it's, it's romance with comedy. I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, with that being said, did you guys enjoy it? So we're done for the week, right? This is officially, let me just double check. Yes, this is chapter seven. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm happy to be on another chapter soon. Uh, so pretty much what I've got is, uh, oh. Okay, hold on, I'll show you guys this. This is a card we got for spending premium. Oh, while well, completing Chapter 7. She looks too wholesome for your taste. Who is Marco? We have not met Marco yet, have we? I don't think we have. Um, let me just double check here. I think we're officially done. We did it at any price. Academy didn't have anything this week. And we completed, which is really saddening, by the way, this this book. Which, by the way, you guys should really check it out. If you guys enjoy a lot of fun, um, you know, you don't, you, you just want some humor, you want some fun, you want a little bit of suspense. It's it's a really fun book. You really should check it out. Um, I enjoyed the shit out of it, and I assure you, you probably would if you give it a chance as well. Don't assume that there's going to be romance. There's not. It's a lot of fun. So without further ado, um, please make sure that if you did enjoy the video and the content that I make, please like, share especially, and if you're not already subscribed, please do so, and hit that little bell notification so you guys will receive notification for when I upload content. Um, I will be uploading Life is Strange here soon. Um, Life is Strange Episode 1, to be exact, um, should come out here sometime later this evening so stay tuned for that especially if you're a choices fan um of any type you like games that just have really good choices and things like that and then also um it's a really great series um i went into it fresh i've never played it before i heard a little i didn't know what even to expect what to you know anything i never watched any gameplay or anything it's a fantastic game i promise you you will not be uh disappointed and uh, without further ado, catch me uh, on social media, the down in the description, and I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Peace.